Hello everyone. Today in this video you will be learning about the yes, calculation of ionic character. When dipole moment related information were given in the question. So this is also a very very important type of problems which you will get usually in JE as well as in the KCET examinations. Okay, so let us understand how to solve or how to find out the ionic character percentage when dipole moment related informations were given in the question. So before I begin uh, actual problem okay, and solution for that, uh, I want you people to know something about the dipole moment some history what we call okay so dipole moment exist for polar molecules or rather polar covalent bond let me put in that way so you supposed to know that of course you know it there are two types of bonds uh, under covalent bond I'm talking about polar covalent bond and non-polar covalent bond of course these other two bonds you know coordinate and ionic I'm not talking about the ionic or coordinate bond here our intention or dipole moment calculation is for covalent bond and in that specifically polar covalent bond do you remember what is polar covalent bond yes covalent bond if exist between uh, two similar atoms like one hydrogen and another hydrogen the bond between them is exactly non-polar why because similar atoms so there is no electronegativity difference polarity will be induced when electronegativity difference lies so therefore since similar two atoms are present on bond is forming between those two there is no electronegativity difference so you cannot expect polarity over there but most of the molecules will be of heteronuclear we call so between two different nucleus as a result polarity will be there methane molecule carbon tetrachloride molecule or carbon dioxide many examples ammonia you can give for polar covalent bond and polar molecules fine now what is dipole moment di means two as i always used to say so two poles will be there positive and negative ends therefore the dipole moment is denoted by mu and it is calculated with the help of formula dipole moment is equal to charge q into distance between the charges so magnitude of charge and distance between them when you take the product of these two we get dipole moment one more thing to be remembered dipole moment is measured in terms of d by okay so 1 d by is equal to 1.0 into 10 to the power of minus 18 electronic scale unit centimeter this unit is supposed to be used or your NCRT book provides the value of 1 d by conversion the unit is in different that's it value will remain same 3.3356 into 10 to the power of minus 30 coulomb meter so this is a, another unit if you inter convert this you will get the same value so this is about the dipole moment to be remembered okay now when and all we use we apply dipole moment Firstly, it is used to find out the polarity of the bond. As a basic one, we need to use dipole, or we will use to find out the polarity of the bond dipole moment data or dipole moment value, which is directly proportional. Also, it is used to find out the geometry of the molecule. When I say geometry, you're supposed to remember two important things. One, all regular geometrical molecules will have zero dipole moment. This is a, again favorite statement, okay, to be remembered. All regular geometrical molecules will have zero dipole moment because it's a vector quantity. So same magnitude in different direction when you take the resultant, okay, vector addition it is. So it will get cancelled with each other, so it will be zero. So this is the one conclusion you have to remember always. If a molecule is regular, what do you mean by regular? For example, methane, according to the different theories, okay, methane structure is tetrahedral that you know. So tetrahedral for a sp3 hybridization, so it is a regular geometry. You have four different CH bonds and dipole moment anyway will get cancelled, CH bond polarity will remain same in all the direction, so net resultant will be zero. For example, you, if you take the uh, irregular molecule like ammonia, 
Hybridization is sp3, so you expect a tetrahedral structure, but you will get pyramidal. These are called as irregular. Water, oxygen atom is sp3 hybridized, but structure is bent. Are you getting? Yes, exactly. Those irregular molecules or geometry if it is irregular, there exists a dipole moment. So these are the two things you should remember. One, all regular geometrical molecules will have zero dipole moment. Irregular geometry, there exists a particular value for dipole moment. Done, dear students? Yes. Okay, we'll move ahead. The another important application is to find out the geometrical isomers. How do you oh, connect dipole moment geometrical isomers? Is a vector quantity again that particular factor will help you how trans isomer geometrical in the sense uh, cis and trans isomers trans isomers similar groups on the opposite side so dipole moment will get cancelled it will become zero is that okay so when you measure dipole moment if the value is zero then it could be regular geometrical molecule okay or the isomer is in the form of isomer if you uh, connect that then it will be trans isomer so these important informations you are going to get from the help of dipole moment value now i'm coming to the one more the perhaps best application of dipole moment calculation of ionic character why did i tell all these brief history because you should know the purpose okay or the uh, background of the concept then only it can be connected in a better way do you agree? Yes. So now, ionic character is for co polar covalent molecules. Because uh, the no bond general statement which says that, okay, or which I, if I gave, no bond is 100% ionic. That you should remember. At the same time, no polar covalent bond is 100% covalent. There will be ionic nature or character induced in a polar covalent bond because whenever polarity is present just in the case of HCl one example if I take okay there is an electronegativity difference so charge separation will be present so charge separation when takes place electrostatic force of attraction will come into picture as a result they do behave as ionic at times is that fine yes so how much or to what extent the bond of HCl or bond between HCl is ionic that can be calculated with the help of exactly dipole moment so that part we are learning now and it is one of the important as I said earlier so shall we go for it I'll be taking two examples dear students to solve or uh, how to solve these types of problems and how it will be given in the exam first example let me write here okay you are given with a bond that is uh, or a molecule okay rather molecule HCl is given let me take the same example HCl and it is told that you require or rather here we require to calculate the percentage of ionic character of a bond present between H and Cl okay HC in between H and Cl so it is also told that the bond length of this let me denote it as a D is equal to they have given 1.34 okay 1.34 angstrom value they have given to us we supposed to find out for this what is the ionic character you are provided with the experimental ionic i mean experimental dipole moment also theoretical dipole moment so let me write here theoretical dipole moment given as i'll write as theoretical as mu okay and experimental you can denote in uh, any of these two ways mu and mu dash will take okay so Basically, your formula to calculate, I'll come to this, okay, formula to calculate ionic character, I'll write as IC, okay, ionic character, which is equal to experimental, okay, experimental dipole moment, so I'll write as a mu, experimental mu divided by theoretical, okay, theoretical theoretical dipole moment so we'll i'll take it as mu into the percentage therefore 100 so this is the formula experimental value by theoretical value into 100 to be taken so whatever given in the question will be our experimental data what exactly the dipole moment theoretical let us calculate okay so i'll write mu for exactly S, experimental which is given in this question and the data will be given so question I'll read once okay calculate the percentage of ionic character of a HCl molecule 
okay which has got a bond length of 1.34 angstrom units and the experimental dipole moment as 1.08 dy okay so this is given in the question now what we supposed to find out ionic character for that what we require exactly <coughs> i'm sorry theoretical value is that okay fine so how to do that let me write it experimental mu since it is given 1.08 let me write in the same way d by e is nothing but we have taken 1 d by e is equal to there is many esu centimeter so it is 1 into 10 to the power minus 18 so i'll write the same thing okay divided by theoretical we will calculate with the help of formula mu q into d what is q then the one data which you should remember here is the charge on the isolated ion charge on the isolated ion is given as 4.8 into 10 to the power of minus 10 electronic scale unit this value one has to remember to solve the problem okay so here theoretical mu is 4.8 into 10 to the power of minus 10 into q value i have substituted d is given 1.34 into 10 to the power minus 10 meter this is nothing but 1.34 into 10 to the power minus 10 meter in terms of centimeter yes 1.34 into 10 to the power minus 8 centimeter you convert that so mu esu into centimeter so exactly same unit therefore it is 1.34 into 10 to the power minus 8 fine no so multiply these two and 1.08 to be divided by that 10 to the power 18 and 10 and 8 will get cancelled therefore your final value will be 1.08 divided by 4.8 into 1.34 how much it is 6.4 okay into 10 to the power minus 18 already cancelled into 100 will be there so you will get the answer as here 16 point okay 16.79 percentage are you getting dear students what is the conclusion though the bond is covalent hcl bond is covalent it has got ionic character as almost equal to 17 percent okay 17 percent will be ionic in nature remaining how much it is 83 percentage will be covalent so majority of the bond is covalent it is said to be covalent molecule though there is just a ionic nature in it did you understand this so uh, you can solve this in a short since to be explained in a detail i have done that but actually how to calculate immediately in the exam within a minute ionic character is equal to you write the formula you remember this formula experimental mu by theoretical whatever given in the question is your experimental data in the denominator what you supposed to do given bond length to be multiplied by 4.8 into 10 to the over minus 8 minus 10 that is a constant multiply it and get the answer that's it is that okay dear students it's very important problem okay i'll give one more you i hope and i believe you will be working out this problem along with me okay the question is like this a heteronuclear diatomic molecule hx is given hx is given heteronuclear this is a second example heteronuclear diatomic molecule which has got a bond length as 1.2 angstrom unit that is given to you okay 1.2 angstrom unit next the experimental data of i mean to say that the mu value experimental uh, dipole moment is given as 1.92 dy is that fine 1.92 dy now you supposed to find out the percentage of ionic character so question can be framed isn't it how for a given heteronuclear diatomic molecule the bond length is taken as 1.2 or is found to be 1.2 angstrom units which has a dipole moment as 1.92 there wouldn't be i mean mentioning in the question paper that the dipole moment is one experimental they won't say that but you should remember that given dipole moment is experimental okay 1.92 calculate the ionic ionic character so what we will do ionic character is equal to we'll write a formula ionic character equal to rewrite the formula again okay i'll write directly the value what is that 1.92 since it's d by 10 to the power minus 18 divided by 1.2 is a bond length 
okay in terms of centimeter 10 to the power minus 8 charge on the neutral or charge on the isolated not neutral charge on the isolated gaseous ion or isolated ion i have 4.8 into 10 to the power minus 10 so when you multiply 4.8 and 1.2 you'll get it as exactly 5.76 so uh, it is nothing but 1.92 into 10 to the power of minus 18 divided by 5.76 into 10 to the power minus 18. Is that okay? So you simplify this, you'll get the answer as 33.3 percentage. So this is quite a large value, isn't it? Ionic character. So this bond is more likely to be ionic. Probably H is hydrogen, X is iodine if you imagine that way so hi which is more acidic we say am i right yes so therefore ionic character can be computed by making use of the dipole moment value so that is this dear students from this video so please work out such type of problems okay thank you thank you for watching